Hi friends and welcome back to Finishing the Score where you can follow along with my songwriting journey and I share the tips and tricks I'm learning along the way. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about Notion. This is the second in a three-part video series about how I use Notion for songwriting. My last video was about how to use Notion to write lyrics for an individual song, but today we're going to be talking about how I use Notion to keep track of all of my songs and how I track my songwriting practice. If you haven't heard of Notion yet, it is a web-based note-taking application that allows you to create your own custom pages and databases with whatever layout you choose. We're going to be digging into some of Notion's most powerful features today, including databases, relations, and roll-ups, and it is these specific features that make it, for me, one of the most powerful ways to keep track of my songwriting. Are you ready, guys? Because it's about to get nerdy up in here. Let's jump in. So here's the main page that is my music dashboard. The purpose of this page is to provide easy access to the information that I most need to do my music work. I've got four main sections up on the dashboard. Up here, I've got the links to several different pages that I've created. We'll be digging in more into this in my next video. In the middle, I have a view of my songs database, which shows me the 10 songs which I have edited most recently. One of the cool things about Notion is that you can have a specific view of a database customized for that particular page in context, which is filtered and sorted based on your needs for that page. And so that's what this is. It's filtered for my 10 most recent songs. Uh, and you can see the edit date here in order from most recent to least recent of my top 10. We'll jump in more to the My Songs database later in the video. Next, I've got a list of my open projects. This is a view of my projects database, which is filtering for all of the projects which are music related. Each of these is a specific page. So if I click into my EP, for example, um, it's got all of the particular data associated with that project. And then in the content here, I've got some tasks associated with the project, some notes, and I also happen to have a view of my songs database filtered just for the songs for this project. Back into my music dashboard, the last item I want to show you is the artist log. So this database serves two functions for me. It is a way for me to track the time that I'm spending on both my songwriting and piano practice, but also for me to take notes on something as I go. And that allows me, if I want to come back and maybe try to figure out what a good good subject for a YouTube video would be, I can look at some of my recent, recent work in here, look at the notes, and see if there's something that I want to share with you guys. In my last video, I mentioned the relation and roll-up properties in Notion. And here is where that starts to get really cool. Let's jump into one of my uh, songwriting sessions here. Um, so here, it's very simple. I've got the date. I categorize this as a songwriting session. Uh, I say how much time I spent, and I've got two relation properties here. One is to a song in the song database, and the other is to a day in my daily tracking database. If we click here into the song You Seem Great, one of the properties here is a roll up, which is uh, for time spent. This is essentially adding up all of the time spent on each of these artist logs that's linked to this song. In addition to that, I also have the daily tracking roll up and I am able to roll that up by day, week, month, and year and see how much time in total I'm spending on my songwriting in a given amount of time. I have set a personal goal for myself to do 300 hours of songwriting this year. And because of this setup in Notion, I know that I've logged 125 hours so far, which means that I'm currently on track for my goal. Hooray! Now let's dive into the songs database. We're gonna start on this table view here uh, to give us a sense of what is included in this particular database. For each entry in the database, we've got a series of columns here with different data types. Over on the left under name, we have each of the songs listed. As we looked at in the last video, each page contains specific brainstorming ideas and lyrics. I've also got my artist log, tasks, etc. Uh, I'm not going to get into this today. If you want to know more about how I use these specific song pages, you can check out my last video. Next up, we can see that each song is linked to a specific project from my projects database. 
Here we have the status column, which is of primary importance to me in the song database. This is going to come in super handy when we see the board view, which we'll see in a moment. Here we have time spent. So this again is that roll up property for each of the songs. And here we have track number. And most of these songs are empty on track number, but this comes in real handy for doing sorting. So for example, here, my musical hack punt tool has a specific order that the songs take place in, in the show. And so I've included those track numbers and that is sorting up here by track number. I have first sorting by project, then by track number. I've got updated and created dates. And then the last ones I have in here are a series of relations. So these five columns essentially link to some other support databases I have here in Notion. Uh, for example, my Spark file is the database where I keep track of things that inspire me. And so if I have found a particular song to be very inspiring to a song of mine, I will link to that Spark file entry right here, etc. And not everything here needs to be filled out, but if I have data for it, I will link it. So now that you see the setup of what the data contains, let's see what Notion can really do. Along the top here, I have some different tabs associated with this database. Uh, and these are some different views that I've created. So I can go over to completed songs, for example. And what I have done here is to create a filter. Under filter, I filtered down to three statuses, which are demo complete, fully produced, and cut song. I'm considering those three to be completed songs. What I want to see with this view is essentially a list of all of the songs that I've finished writing here in one place. And so I can see each of those with the project associated. And one thing I really like here is that I can set up at the bottom here a count of the total items in here. So right now I have finished writing 42 total songs. And I personally find it very gratifying to watch this number tick up as I complete things. So I periodically come in here and see how I'm doing. And finally, my favorite view of all is this board view by status. This setup is a lot like a Trello board if you've ever used that. Along the top, we've got a column for each status tag. Each page is like a card in the column and you can drag them around as you need. For example, if I have decided that I need to do some rewriting on this song that I have completed, I can just simply drag it from demo complete over to rewriting or back either way. In addition to the main status groups, I've also got a subgrouping down the side by project. What this does is to group all of the songs for a given project together in the same horizontal space. So you can see for a given project, what the status of all of the songs is. And the fact that they're in toggles is great. I can hide given projects if I don't want to see them, or I can expand them all if I want to be able to see all of them. And down at the bottom, I've got a toggle for all of the song ideas that don't belong in a given project yet. These all belong to the song idea status, and they're essentially just seeds of songs that I have come up with, but I haven't started writing anything yet. If I'm going about my day and I've got a random idea for a song, I can open up Notion on my phone and toss a new song idea in here to revisit later. And this is how I know I'm not forgetting my ideas. And the reason that this is my favorite view of the database is that if I sit down to write and I'm not sure what to work on next, maybe I just finished a song, I can open this up and I can see, okay, which songs are in progress, which songs need to be rewritten, and I can pick something and go from there. I can just go ahead and click into the page and I can start working. Or if I'm ready to start a new song, I can go down to my song ideas list and basically pick something and go from there. And that's it for my music dashboard and song database. I absolutely love the way that it facilitates the organization of my song library and allows me to keep track of the time I'm spending on my songwriting. Do you have a system for this? Do you use Notion for your songwriting? If so, I would love to hear what, how you use Notion or what other system you use for this. Thanks so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you want to stay tuned for my next Notion video, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm. 
finishing